After Columbine a Christian mom came throwing pamphlets and yelling at the staff. She blamed us for the shooting. We were 1,000 miles away. She made one of my sales associates cry. Nothing worse than watching a fat man cry over something he had nothing to do with. I was working on the sales floor and this guy, at least in his 30s and pretty high, starts making sexual comments to me about this 15-ish girl that was checking out. I asked him to leave and nothing more came of it but it was chilling, also had a co-worker get fired because they were selling weed out of the back room as he or she'd sneak it into their bag while they were checking out, also had a different off-duty co-worker come in hammered late one night to tell everyone working how great we were. That was actually kinda nice besides that. It was a lot of kicking out fapping teenagers and letting the quiet girls from my school try on skimpy Harley Quinn bikinis in the dressing room as you did. Grammar. A petite friend is currently a manager at one and her issue is always a customer that become too often repeat customer obsessed with her or another female employee. Currently it's a guy that swears they would have everything in common because he likes all the things in the store too as if she curated it, and now has to stay 500 feet from the store, or, not a horror story but a ridiculous short one. I had a woman come in with her sleeping infant and screamed at me to turn off the music while she strolled around the store. I mean if your baby is sleeping and you want them to continue, maybe don't come to browse the store that you can hear music blasting from the other side of the mall. I dk what to tell ya ha ha. Uh, my high school GF worked there way back in the day, she said the worst part of the day was having to collect merchandise from the fitting rooms and cleaning the fitting rooms apparently. All sorts of nasty women would go in there and try on the panties, not use a liner and just generally leave them all crusty and bad smelling. They would also leave pads and tampons all over. She said they had to throw away so much merchandise that was left in that condition. I feel like this may be a problem anywhere they sell clothes but then again Hot Topic may attract a different type of customer so it might have happened more often. My current boss was a former store manager at a Hot Topic and he told me that he caught one of his employees stealing a shirt he had stuffed into a sonic cup. From then on out everyone had to check bags and beverages for merchandise. I worked at Hot Topic about 8 years ago. For the most part, the gig was the best part-time job I ever had. Great managers. Great co-workers. Great customers. Only two instances stand out in my mind. Point one. This was around when Twilight was big. Middle-aged women would come in and ask where the Edward Jacob merch was and then just start fawning over them in the most uncomfortable way. 2. My actual interview. It was a group interview. One of the questions was something about either a difficult customer service moment or something. This one guy, obvious HT scene type, proudly talks about the time he worked at a bookstore and sucker punched a female customer in the face for calling his style weird, freaky, something. I never saw that guy again so I don't think the got the job, worked there for 13 years. So much weird, but that's just retail in general, caught a guy masturbating into women's shoes in the dressing. Rumors your people had happy fun time in there more often than you'd be comfortable with, I worked. For them when Columbine happened, we carried a brand of clothing back then called Serial Killer, which featured pop culture pics, references and some edgy saying like a pic of Bruce Lee that said, revenge, or something like that, the morning after Columbine happened. We got an email to pull all the serial killer clothing line off the sales floor, as well as every trench coat in the store. By the end of the day I'd already had to call security twice due to people showing up at the store, and harassing me for, supporting those psychos and, training the next ones. Then the TV networks showed up and pretty much camped the front of our store, harassing every customer as they walked in, out, asking them why this dark lifestyle attracted them as the mall ended up having security just 
hang out in front of our store and walking our employees to their cars for a week afterward, honestly. It was the best job I ever had. The company was really supportive at the corporate level. I still have friends that work there. They pretty much left me alone, so long as I made sales. So I had carte blanche to set up my stores the way I wanted even if it didn't look like the planned merchandising setups they sent out. I had direct access with every department. So if I felt my stores couldn't sell something they sent us, they'd let me transfer it somewhere else. And vice versa. Get more best sellers in, honestly. If it wasn't for the working every weekend and closing a lot stuff, I would have continued working there. Former employee. I worked a whole three months in summer. So all the kids were out and about. I was stocking Disney merchandise and I couldn't help but notice a kid underneath one of our clearance racks. I heard some strange noise coming from there too so I crouch under and look at the kid. He had a button, needle and all, in his mouth. I asked him where his parents were and before I knew it he swallowed the pin and ran out of the store. I couldn't leave and go search for the child so I let security know about the button kid. Never knew what happened after that. I can't seem to forget button kid though. Spent almost five years working at one in the early 2000s. Being in the Midwest, we had a ton of juggalos but they were actually pretty nice people in general. I had a group of kids ask what I would do if they set some clothes on fire and flicked a lighter. Multiple times, we mostly got weirdos who wanted to bang in the dressing room or lifted up their shirts to ask me what gauge their nipple ring is. We had this one girl who came in weekly and I don't think she was all there. She would sit at the listening station for way too long and then leave. One day she sat down and put the headphones on. She had a plastic bag with her filled with empty glass bottles and peaches. Yes, the fruit. We noticed it was leaking onto the floor but just let her do her thing. She put the headphones back and looked at her leaking bag. She had a mildly disappointed look on her face but immediately looked at her watch and yelled, I'm going to miss my bus. Quote, she ran out of the store and up to a trash can outside the store. She held the bag up high and yelled, Peaches meet at your fate. Quote, threw the bag in the trash and sprinted off. That job was weird. Former employee of a couple years in high school. I loved that job. The biggest horror story that sticks out in my mind was this guy that would always come in with his kids. He was a huge ICP fan. And from the looks of it, he let his kids, both boys, they were I'd guess maybe 7 and 8 at the time. Listen as well. They always had hatchet man stuff on and pretty female doggy and haircuts. They always misbehaved. Just running around the store screaming. Sometimes crashing into stuff. And the dad gave no fluffs. He was often pretty rude to us in the store about not having specific merch or being out of stuff. In his size, he was a large guy. I hadn't still have no business in what that guy does with his kids. But I always felt a little bad that there was a good chance they would end up in a bad way, other than that reoccurring instance. For the most part our store was really fun. This is my time to shine. I was helping a lady at the Disney section. She was pretty particular about the things she wanted and was asking if they looked okay enough for her. Being my first job I was really enthusiastic about being a salesperson and I really do love Disney. So I was hyping her up the best I could and were laughing together. Getting along really well. Then she says, yeah I wanted to get all the same things my boyfriend's baby mama has. Is that weird? Literally did not know how to respond. I said it wasn't and cashed her out quick. I worked for Hot Topic for about 7 years. My store was apparently the juggalo store of the district. And I think the state. Working for that company as long as I did. I was pretty used to ignoring people's crappy taste. But the juggalos were different. This is in central Florida. So it's on average about 90 degrees most days and always humid as hell. These kids were always very overweight. Wearing a massive black ICPT. 
those ridiculous 30-pound black trip pants with huge pockets and all the hardware, chains and straps, hanging from them, and they were drenched in sweat. Their hygiene was almost always awful. They always seemed to show whenever a new ICP shirt or collectible would arrive, and would smell up the store and pay and wad it up. Sweat-soaked money. It was just all around unpleasant. The smell would linger for a bit after they left. It was not pleasant, as this was my first job in my college town. And generally, I absolutely loved it. You're treated like some super cool mini-celebrity by all the little mall rats. The management was generally great to their employees. And the work wasn't too hard in my small, low-volume store. However, there was the issue of Valentine's Day. That year they were promoting all these different corsets and lingerie, as well as the Get In Our Pants campaign for the skinny jeans. Management wanted the employees to try and show the corsets not just as lingerie, but as fashion items, maybe paired with the skinny jeans, increase sales and all. So there I am, Valentine's Day, in a black corset and tight black skinny jeans and boots. W-A-A-A-Y more sexy than 18-year-old me with a still-developing body was comfortable with. In comes Creepy McReaper, a 50-plus something dude who says he wants to buy something for his wife, but wants some help picking it out. Not once did his eyes look at my face. The entire time I'm helping him, he's staring at my butter chest and making weird comments about how I remind him of his daughter or being uncomfortably comfortable telling me explicit details about his wife's body. He then asks me to try it on and show him, so he could see how it would look on his wife. Luckily, shy 18-year-old me awkwardly laughed it off and got him past the register and out of the store. I loved that job but Jesus, did it draw some weirdos. But finally one of these where I have an actual personal story. I worked at one for about a year. You would see a lot of cringy stuff just because of the base it attracts. But nothing terrible horrible usually besides one time. I was working a Saturday afternoon shift. It was about 3.30 p.m. and the store wasn't busy at all. There were only two weeboo looking guys in their 20s in the store. Then, a group of four teens walked in giggling and looking suspicious. They go up to the Weeboos and start singing the Nee and Cat song. N-Y-A-N-N-Y-A-N-Y-A-N-Y-A-N-Y-A-N-Y-A-N-Y-A-N-Y-A-N-Y-A-N-Y-A-N-Y-A-N-Y-A-N-Y-A-N. Me and my co-worker are like what the fluff. One of the Weeboos gets aggressive and is like step. The fluff back. Step the fluff back. He then fluff and grabs a chain wallet and starts swinging it at the Missouri call security and my co-worker is just screaming hey 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 trying to stop it one of the kids calls the weeboos fat asses as he's still trying to hit them with a wallet and responds to their insult by calling them daddy's coomstain female doggy asses by now three security guards come in and break it up while the silent weeboo is saying the kids started it both parties are escorted out different exits while we give a report on what happened Never saw any of them again. Maybe not so much horror, but just terribly annoying. Cringy point one. I was wearing a Hellblazer shirt that had a cover of the new 52 revamp on it. I had two neckbeards come up and start trying to gatekeep me on if I was really a fan of Hellblazer, John Constantine. It included the actual questions of, well, what's your favorite arc? Who is your favorite writer, artist? Two. Halloween is coming up. It's the Halloween season after Suicide Squad came out. So we have both versions of the Joker's outfits. The other from The Dark Knight. Both versions were unreasonably expensive. In total for the Dark Knight costume. If I remember correctly was about $200 altogether. Because you had to buy the coat. The undershirt. The pants etc. The fabric of the costume was just a little bit better quality than the $50 version you get at any Halloween setup store. We had a guy come in about 30 minutes before we closed for the night and wanted to try on the dark night version of the Joker's outfit. 
the costume was hanging up on the tallest rack so it required me getting a pole and pulling down each one because the size he needed was a large in each component of the costume. He tried it on, enjoyed it, and wanted to buy it. I went ahead to go ring him up and then when he saw the price of it he started flipping out. He started complaining that he could find this costume in anywhere else that he wanted at a cheaper price. He wanted to know if there's any coupons or if I could give him my employee discount. I told him there's no way I could do that. He starts flipping out and says he needs his costume tomorrow and he doesn't have that money now. He took me about 45 minutes after closing to finally leave. He did not buy the costume. Even before Suicide Squad came out working Halloween around Hot Topic was always cringy with all. The Joker and Harley Quinn people, edited to correct minor errors, was using speech to text to tell the story while feeding the baby. Sorry. This would also be a good question for Spencer's employees since they're very similar but more adult-oriented. My sister worked at one for a little while. One day two grown men were fighting over a pop. It's like a collectible figure. Like a legit fight. She said it was like the comic book guy from The Simpsons fighting another comic book guy from The Simpsons. My sister called mall security and noped the hell out of their way. Neither one of them got the pop. My sister had to put all this stuff back that they knocked over. For Thursday is actually my last day with Hot Topic after four years. In general, the company is amazing to its employees and I've met some incredible people. But boy do I have stories. 1. I once found a condom on our anime section. It was open and filled with something point two. We had a girl who I am positive had some mental issue because she would get into the fitting room and try to lure anyone in there to help her then try and seduce theme as year she was actually pretty but young and filled to the brim with crazy point three. Alice Cooper came into the store once, totally unannounced and brought a teacup pig. Absolutely wonderful person gave our metalhead associate tickets to his show and this dude about lost it.4 also met Machine Gun Kelly made a parade we the kings and Max Green of Escape the Fate MGK and the vocalist for WTK were butts.5 we had a guy get thrown against the front gate on the morning of a Funko Pop release in general the job has taught me some pop collectors or grads of butts.6 had a woman ask me if she should go back to stripping after her C-section. Then lifted her shirt to show me the scar in her tits.7. We found out there was a group of mall rats who wrote fanfiction about the staff at our store. I never got to see any and I'm glad for that, but I was there for four years. So I'll have to think about this for a bit. First story that comes to mind was my first Halloween. Corporate sent out calendars that were only on the shelf for maybe three hours. Each month was a different serial killer. It had a picture, stats and sayings from each one. For instance, one month, June I believe, was Ed Gain. It had his kill count listed. And then basic bullet point facts about him as year this was the first and only time I ever saw. Corporate had his field destroy merchandise. To this day I wish I had kept a copy, edit. It was 2007. I was only part-time and I had only been there a few months. Had I known how cool it would have been I would have taken one. Or five. I had planned on buying one the second we unboxed theme is here thanks for all the likes. This video of a guy trying to take a hot topic cashier's soul HTTPS www.youtube.com slash watch v equals a c a x 6 j q j g p w i worked here seasonally in high school around 2006 and honestly the cringiest part of the job were my co-workers constantly telling me i'm not punk rock enough i would wear band tees and jeans and had a nose ring sorry i didn't want to shave half my head and dye it orange for a mall job they would literally jeer at me to go work at Hollister, literally being the people they 
claimed a hate, and I managed three different hot topics in the late 90s, early 2000s. Mostly I had a great time working there. I don't know that I have any horror stories, per se, but there was a lot of crazy garbage that went on. In the main store I worked in, people, including staff, were constantly fluffing in the changing room as your teenagers would come in reeking of weed so strongly that you could smell them across the store. People were always coming in in bondage gear, on leashes, etc., which was pretty hilarious, because the store I was at was in a really suburban area. There was one guy that came for about a year, every weekend, asking about stiletto boots in a particular size that was really hard to find. Finally, I managed to find a pair and got it shipped to our store. Turns out they were for him as your he was like maybe 5 feet 5 inches and 300 pounds. Probably the most memorable experiences was the time that a bunch of the raver kids. I say kids, I was like 21 at the time. Convinced me to go out to a rave with the as the store manager was going. I was assistant, along with like three staff. The staffers were over 18, but still living at home and at the end of they were too high to go home. So the manager, also still rolling, decided we could all just crash in the back of the store. Since we had a bunch of bean bag chairs back there, ended up with lots of oral happy fun time being exchanged. It didn't work there but I can bet your butt a Hot Topic employee cringed and laughed at me. When I was 10-ish, I really loved to write. I was also going through that edgy phase. I think Avril Lavigne was getting big right around then. I was looking around the store, not really knowing what half the stuff was. They always had awesome bumper stickers. And I picked one up that said, Inkaholic because I like to write. You know, with ink. And I told the cashier as much when he asked me what the sticker meant. That was one of those things that I completely forgot about until several years later when it randomly popped in my head and I realized how wrong I was. I hope he got a good laugh over me. Well I worked at the Pac Sun two stores down but knew the HT people pretty well as they were the only ones who also smoked cigarettes. If either were out of smokes we could get one from the other, hung out with the manager a few times at his place to smoke out etc. He was super into Coheed and Cambria and we jam out to that had a wife and kid who were super nice and cooked dinner for me when I was there, end up moving in. On a trip back home, I stop in to see if anyone I knew was still there. Ask about manager dude on the person's face just drops. Turns out dude was in prison for fluffing a 14 yo. Not really a horror story, but too good to not share and hash x 200 b I worked at the warehouse and at one point corporate had this great idea that instead of letting clearance merch sit in the stores and take up space that they should ship it back to the warehouse to be clearanced via the website or whatever. The amount of stuff coming back was overwhelming and wound up in those big pallet-sized cardboard bins, at least 50 of them completely full and somewhat sorted, and hash x200b. They did a warehouse sale that was open to the public and were selling things at set prices like $1 for a shirt or something like that. The employees got to pre-shop the sale. I was pre-shopping it when some other girl that works in the warehouse picks up this shirt with a state on it that she didn't recognize. She said, what state is this? My reply, that's Africa. I worked at Hot Topic for two years as a manager. The worst we would get were bored stay-at-home moms with their bratty children. This one particular mom came in with her twins. They wreaked havoc in my store. Pulled teas out of the baskets. Makeup out of the displays. Anything they could get their hands on the pulled out and left on the ground. The mom was off in her own little world. She didn't even buy anything. I was the only employee in the store that morning. Edit. Spelling. I remember back in the day, Hot Topic was a little scary to walk into. Now the color scheme is all light and bright littered with Billie Eilish and Justin Bieber gear. I worked at a Hot Topic in 99 00. 
We used to get a fair amount of strippers that came in, because we were the only place around that sold see-through vinyl bikini tops and six-inch stack boots and garbage like that. Anyway, our fitting room was basically a hole cut in a wall with a mirror and a thick curtain that had to be pulled close just right. This one day, a stripper came in to try on a bunch of stuff and really didn't even bother with the curtain. Apparently, she was so used to people seeing her naked that it wasn't a big deal for her. Granted, this was a weekday morning and she and her boyfriend, manager, bodyguard or whatever were the only people in the store besides my manager and me. At one point she just stopped using the fitting room altogether and was just using the full length mirror on the door to the stockroom office. My manager and I really had no idea what to do, because at this point she's got about $1,500 to $2,000 worth of merchandise that she's probably buying. And this lady is good for both business and morale. She didn't seem to be worried at the prospect of anyone seeing her. And the way our store was set up was really narrow and long. And the display fixtures were tall and bulky. It was very difficult to see into and out of the store unless you were standing in the center aisle. It made loss prevention a nightmare, but really allowed this lady to let her freak flag fly. She finally puts her clothes on at the cash wrap as she's checking out. My manager gave me so much garbage after that because I was so embarrassed that I couldn't even make eye contact with the customer while I rang her up. That was the largest transaction I ever rang up in my time there and paid for it with the largest wad of cash I'd ever seen in my life up to that point, TL. Doctor a stripper came in on a slow day and treated the store like her own private dressing room as year. Worked at a Hot Topic in a mall in CA. This was around the time My Little Pony took off and bronies were becoming a thing. Biggest fattest dude I've ever seen in my life came in asking to see Fluttershy stuff. Smelled like Mountain Dew and Shaman had a custom shirt with the pony in question spread eagle on it in what I could only describe as a missionary position with a very realistic meow spread. I immediately called security. There were too many people coming in wearing fetish clothing. Too many. I didn't work there very long. But I remember on my second day of the job a lady came in looking for something to buy her daughter. Told me she was a fan of Janis Joplin, Jimi Hendrix, that kind of stuff. So I walked around with her for maybe an hour showing her all sorts of things she might like. This was back when Hot Topic was more music oriented in the early 2000s. We picked out a few really awesome things I thought she might like. And then the mom spotted a Marilyn Manson miniskirt. After hearing how her daughter dressed and what kind of music she listened to for upwards of an hour, I tried to tell the mom that her daughter probably wouldn't like that skirt. But she insisted and ended up getting only the skirt. It was my first retail job. Something inside me died a little that day. I didn't work there for a long time. BCI was seasonal but let me say working at HT in a more Southern conservative areas, well in experience. We had a huge Harry Potter sale and management had a stress in house colors the whole nine yards. Well the sale was during a weekend so we had a bunch of kids coming in to spend their allowance or whatever on a band tee or chain wallets and pops. One lady came in looked me up and down and told me I needed Jesus. I get it I work at HT parents come in all the time and like to tell me how I'm going to hell for pushing my satanic beliefs on their little angels. She didn't stop though she kept telling me that God would smite me and she hopes I burn in hell. When I tried to defuse the situation and ask why she thought I should go to hell she said, what are you retrded? Harry Potter is witchcraft and everyone in here is going to burn in hell. Needless to say she was escorted out and later on her oldest son came in and had to apologize for his mother's radical behavior. 